Mama Bear's Reading Den. Welcome. Hi, little cubs. Welcome back to Mama Bear's Reading Den. I'm Mama Bear, and I have a brand new Christmas book for you that I hope you'll enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Christmas Wishes by Tony Mitten and Lane Marlowe, published by Scholastic. On the night before Christmas, the tree was all hung with lights and with baubles that shone as they swung. The branches were dangled with glittering things, while the fairy perched high with her wand and her wings. There were shiny wrapped presents beneath the bright tree. There were green leaves and berries and cards hung to see. For at last it was Christmas, and late Christmas Eve is when Santa Claus visits, or so folks believe. So we set out a drink and a Christmassy snack with a note saying, Santa, please put down your sack and nibble some Christmas cake. Give it a try, for it must be so cold in the midwinter sky. And here are some carrots, so crunchy and sweet, your hardworking reindeer could do with a treat. Then Dad told a story and Mom sang a song, and soon it was time to be getting along. So we hung up our stockings and went to our beds as thoughts of our gifts swam around in our heads. We lay in our beds as the minutes went by, but all we could do was to wriggle and sigh. To stay up at Christmas just wouldn't be right. But in through our window, the moon shone so bright. It must have been later than midnight, I guess, and our heads were all hot and our beds were a mess. When outside the window, we heard a faint jingle, which made our hearts leap and our skin start to tingle. We crept to the window and heading our way, we spied in the sky an incredible sleigh. It was pulled by eight reindeer. The first had a nose that glowed quite as brightly as any red rose. The sleigh had a cargo of sacks piled up high, which the reindeer had hauled through the icy night sky. And there, as we watched it, the driver leaned out as both of us struggled to hold back a shout. His suit was bright red and his beard was white. It's Santa, we whispered with gasps of delight. Our hearts started thumping. We didn't think twice. And downstairs we scuttled. What mischievous mice. Old Santa had come down the chimney and now was wiping the soot from his beard and his brow. He read all our messages, mumbled, let's see. Then he filled up our stockings and chuckled with glee. He nibbled some cake and then, what do you think? He turned back to face us and gave us a wink. He waggled a finger but smiled as he said, What naughty young children, be off now, to bed! There was nothing to answer, no, nothing to say. We knew he was right, so we had to obey. We scuttled back up to our window, amazed, to catch a last glimpse, and we gazed and we gazed. Old Santa was giving his reindeer a munch of the carrots we'd left and some apples to crunch. Then he reached for the reins as he jumped in the sleigh, and he called with a chuckle, Now, up and away! The reindeer clawed hard at the air with their hoofs, till the sleigh slowly rose to the heights of the roofs, and Santa waved down with a cry of delight. Merry Christmas, my dears, and a very good night. Oh, what silly mice. They were sneaking around until Santa spied them. I bet some of you have wanted to see Santa when he comes down the chimney to visit you on Christmas Eve. I know I did when I was little, and I'm sure my kids do too. I hope you enjoyed the book. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified of all the new books that I share. This is Mama Bear. Thanks for coming to my reading den.